Melissa is calling in from the beautiful city of Port Elizabeth. Um, and, and, and I asked Melissa to, to give us a training session tonight or give us a getting started training session tonight because she is, or she just does it so well. Um, and that is a very important thing. Just to, just to highlight something, Melissa's business, I had a quick look this afternoon. The last 12 months, over the previous 12 months, her business has grown by 83%. So if you want to grow your business, say, okay, what is Melissa doing? Look at the activities Melissa and her team are doing to grow, to grow their business. And uh, you, we, we've seen Melissa take this magnificent journey of, of personal development over the last few years. And she has grown into this wonderful leader and, and has, been, has this incredible capability of teaching and growing other distributors in this business. So Melissa, it's great to have you online with us. Thanks for agreeing to join me tonight. And let's talk getting started. I'm going to hand it over to you and, and show us how you would get a new distributor started. Fantastic. Thank you, Drew. And when I was just thinking about earlier today, talking about this, I thought, oh, my word, this is probably the most exciting topic to be able to talk on. And it just got yeah. me back to just thinking about, I just thought, how did I feel when I got started? And one thing I remember is that I couldn't sleep at night, honestly. Um, I would get home from a presentation or from a meeting and I would just lie in bed so excited about my future. And so it always is such a privilege when I'm able to introduce a new person to this near life business and just walk alongside them on their journey as they possibly just change their lives entirely. And so on that note, what I want to just start off talking about is as an upline getting a new distributor started, I want to just say to you, remember it's not about you, it's about them. And that's very important. I always make it my mission to really get to know the new person and what they're wanting from the business and a little bit more about them. That obviously comes with time as we become better friends, but just it's very important always for me for the new distributor to realize and if you are a brand new distributor on the call this evening, Remember that it's not about your upline or the person that got you started. So never feel obliged to them or that you need to do things according to them. This is your journey and our responsibility as uplines is to, to guide you and support you and give you everything that you need to build your near life business. And so at the very beginning, when we start talking, it's, it's just important to know your why, your reason why you've got started in this business. And, you know, it is, it's a different business. You've possibly never done anything like this before. So it's going to take dedication. It's going to take doing a lot um, of things that you haven't done before. It's going to take maybe doing some things that you don't feel comfortable with, that you um, dealing with situations that you just don't know anything about. It's probably going to take you, it's going to be an effort. And there are going to be times when you think, oh, really, why am I doing this? Maybe you're working full time, which I was, and most people are when they get started in this business. And so it is going to take a little bit of sacrifice. But that's why you need to know your why. You need to know what is the reason that you're stepping off, stepping out in this journey? What is it that is burning inside you that's going to make you do things a little bit differently and make a few sacrifices and stretch yourself a little bit in ways that you never thought possible. And so really, I want to say to you, when you get started, spend some time thinking about what your goals are, thinking about what your dreams are, what you wanting out of life. And I was listening to an Andy Stanley um, talk this morning, and he was just talking about there was something that he said that really I was actually exercising and my husband was listening to it and my ears pricked up because he said, everyone is going to end up somewhere. Make sure that you end up somewhere on purpose and only one person can determine that and that's you. And so this vehicle can be your vehicle to making sure that you are on track and you end up where you want to be. So, and the other thing is speaking about dreams, often we, we stop dreaming. We're just so busy focusing on getting to the end of the month or doing what we need to do. So I want to say now, as you get started on this journey, it's now permission to start dreaming. It's permission to 
really think about those things that you want for yourself and your family and write those dreams down, write those goals down. Break them down into small, your short-term goals, your small goals. I always share this. I remember for me, one of my littlest things that I wanted was to be able to afford to buy cushions for my lounge suite out of my near life business. And that was my very first little thing that I wanted. And that was important to me, but it was powerful because when I was able to do that, I'd achieved that goal. And, you know, if you take it then onto your, your bigger goals, those of you that know when I do these videos, I always have the horses in the background. And there's a reason for that next to my near life pictures. And that's because that was one of my biggest driving forces at the beginning was to be able to afford to have horses and to have a lifestyle that we have now, which is thanks to this near life business and thanks to the commitment to my dreams, actually. And so that's what I want to say to you is have those dreams write them down, have them visible to you, do yourself a dream board, put pictures up, have them where you are reminded of them all the time. Because I, I say to people, you know, if you get started in this business for maybe just to earn a little bit of extra money, we can talk ourselves out of that. When the going gets tough, you think, oh, well, I, it's too difficult. I did without it at the beginning anyway. And so it's fine. So write those dreams down, be very specific about them. And once you've done that, you've now committed that you go, you on, you're in this vehicle, you're on this journey. And the, the first thing, the next thing that you need to do at the very beginning is use your products, get to know your products, commit to use your near life, your near life products. We all get started with a kit with, depending on what kit you've chosen, you get started with that kit of products. So, and I, on the odd occasion, I come across people and they say, no, I'm waiting till I get back from holiday and then I'll start using the product. So I'm waiting for this. I want to say to you today, as soon as you get your box, get started on those products because that is part of the excitement is, is using them, experiencing them, starting to love them and learning to love them. And also on that note, change over your home as soon as possible. And I can't um, uh, what say this enough or strongly enough. Your near life business won't grow. It will not, you won't build a business unless you are using all the products in your home that you need in your home. I'm not saying go and use things that you don't need, but replace everything in your home as it finishes gradually with your near life products. And um, that was something that I committed to from the beginning as well. I, I never ever bought anything from the shops, cleaning products, anything that I could get from my near life business from the word go. And um, took my husband a little bit of a while to figure that out, a few arguments later. Nowadays, he wouldn't dare do anything <laughs> because we're both on the same path, but also because we love the product so much. And so the reason for that is that it doesn't make sense. You might as well use the products from your business. But probably the most important reason for, for me saying that is that you just develop a real love for the products and a real love for the, you just um, gain more and more the credibility with the business and you just believe in near life so strongly. So get familiar with those products because that takes me on to the next thing, which is build, how are we going to build this business? What do we have to do? And as Drew said, it's such a simple business. It's not always easy because we're dealing with ourselves, but it's a simple business and the activities that we need to do are simple. And the very first thing that we say to people is that you need to have people that you can talk to, people that you can share the products or the business with. And so you need to build yourself a names list as soon as possible. I recommend to people that you have a little book, either A4, A5, whatever suits you, but something that you have all the time. And I always say to new distributors, start building a names list, get to a hundred names as soon as possible, names and phone numbers. It doesn't mean to say that I'm going to be on your case to speak to them all, but we need to, we need to be writing down people all the time. And then we need to be offering people a solution. And that was something that was stressed with me at the very beginning, because I was not a natural, and I'm still not a natural salesperson. I can talk to people about something I believe in, and that's why I just absolutely adore this business because I believe in it so strongly. But it was really stressed to me from the beginning that this business is about 
finding a solution to other people's needs, to other people's problems and being able to offer them a solution. And so when you build that names list, it needs to be, it needs to be that you're adding to it all the time. Um, like I said, a minimum of 100 names, just sit down and write them down. It doesn't matter if they would be interested, wouldn't be, write them down. And then what we do is we start with 10 names and I will say to a new person and I'm getting started meeting, let's work through a list of 10 names. I want you to write down the names, the phone numbers and a possible need that you find with each person, okay? That you would think would be a need with each person. And then I will help them offer a solution. And that's what we need to remember. Often when we start getting started in the business, we feel like in that first point of contact with that person, when we're offering them in the business, we need to have the answers. We need to be able to tell them everything about it. And I remember for myself feeling like that. I thought I can't offer them anything. I don't have all the answers yet. When we're reaching out to someone with a possible solution, we don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to be able to explain everything to them. We need to be reaching out to them with a heart that we've got a possible solution that we want to help them. And that's what, that's what you as a new distributor will be assisted with is your upline can help you in how to approach that new person. And there's two, there's two things that I always like to, to teach and train with a new person getting started when you're reaching out to someone. Remember, all you're wanting to do is ask them if they would be open to hearing. That's all we want to do. And so I always, there's two things. I always ask someone, would you be open to hearing? Not would you be interested? Because what would they be interested in? They don't know what they would be interested in. So would they be open to hearing? And if it was a business, I always say to, to new distributors, you've recently got started. You've probably got your why for, a, for the, you have got your why. We've established what your why is, what your reason, reason um, is. And so you will just say to your friend, and remember that it's your warm market that you're going to be reaching out to first. It's the people that you love, the people that you care for, and that goes back to why we need to believe in what we're sharing with them at the beginning. And you will simply say to them, um, hi, Susan, would you be open to having a look at a business which could provide you with a residual income on a part-time basis? And then the next part of that is I always say to them, if not, no problem, I just thought I would ask. And so there's two points to that. Firstly, is it's important to ask them if they would be open so they don't feel threatened. Secondly, I always say to them, if not, no problem. So no one feels any pressure. And that brings me onto this point also why it's important to have a names list that you're adding to all the time. It's important to have a long names list with a lot of people because the pressure is off any one person. I see new people get started in the business and then in their mind, they've got two or three people that would be amazing at the business and they offer it to them and then they say no, or they ignore them or they say yes and then they don't do anything and so it takes off the pressure of remember it's not about us it's about offering a solution to other people so we will build that names list you will be assisted with your first 10 people at least to to offer them to to explain to them to show them how to to um yeah whether they'd be open to the business so to ask them if they would be open and then when they come back to you and say, yes, that's great, I would like to hear more, I usually say, okay, well, what is the best solution? If I've got a coffee shop event coming up, I will help them to invite that person to come along to the coffee shop event. We've got incredible, all these Zoom webinar recordings are on our back office. So we can always just, I will then share with that person how to forward that video onto them. Otherwise, another thing that I do a lot with new people getting started is that we either do zoom calls a three-way zoom call or a whatsapp call works really nicely and you can go into a whatsapp video call and you as a new person can ask your upline to do that with you and that what i want to say also is remember that you're not in this by yourself so as an upline our responsibility is to guide you to work with you all the way to where you feel comfortable to do it on your own. And that was something that was very important to me was to know that I didn't have to, I didn't have to try and do this all on my own. So know that your upline is there to help you, to help you introduce other people to the products or to the business opportunity every step of the way um, until you're ready to go and ready to do it by yourself. 
And that's very important um, to just know that because you've got the confidence that you're not trying to do it by yourself. So just a few points that have come out of that. Don't feel that you need to have all the answers before you share this business with other people and you have got the support there every step of the way. Once you've invited someone to come along to a business opportunity meeting or to a coffee shop event, or even to have a look at your video, it's very important to then follow up with them and see what more info they're needing in order for them to make a decision for themselves. And so that follow up is very, very important. And, and that's another thing for new people. Sometimes you feel like, oh no, I don't want to nag them. It's not about that, it's, up, it's about making sure they have got adequate information to make a decision for themselves. It's all about them and, and how it can help them. So I want to just say to you, you need to really commit to yourself to build this business. Um, commit to your dreams, know what it is that you're wanting out of your business. Every step of the way, know what your next step is. So as a brand new distributor getting started, your first goal is to get to your 250 personal points and become a manager. And everyone can do that in their first month. So know what your first, your first step is, know what, what each step along the way is after that, and work very closely with your upline. Don't think that you need to try and do this on your own. Um, work closely with them until you've got the confidence um, to do it on your own. Um, what else did I want to say? And, and once, keep it simple. Keep it simple, but do the activity every single day. The other thing that we do in our team is that I recommend to anyone that wants to build the business uh, properly and wants to build themselves a secure near life business, they need to be reaching out to at least five people every day and asking them if they would be open to having a look at the business or having a look at the products. And that just builds momentum and consistency because the worst thing you can do is we get started in the business, we're so excited and we burst off with activity and then we get out of it and it's so difficult to pull yourself back again. So consistently reaching out to people every day, offering them the business and keeping it simple, doing exactly what, what you've done is you've got started by using the products and now you need to just talk to lots of other, of other people about it. So I hope that has been of some value. Um, Drew, I don't know if you want to add anything else to that. Um, yeah. Are you there? You there, Drew? Have you lost me? Sorry, I was on mute. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hi, sorry, I was on mute. Can you see me? Okay, I can see you. Melissa, that was absolutely fantastic. And it is literally that simple. And I, I really mm. hope that the distributors were listening in on that going, wow, those are the activities. And something that really jumped out at me and I see, I see a couple of comments that also hit a note with a few people on this call where you said dealing, you know, the biggest challenge is we are dealing with ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't agree with that more. We are dealing with ourselves. And I, I just believe that you're, you, you've covered the activities that build the business so beautifully. And we always need to remember that we are dealing with ourselves. And right now, attitude is everything. In our business, attitude has always played a major, major role. But I believe in today's world, attitude is everything. And it's more important now than ever before. Uh, yes, there are challenges. You know, have a look around us. There are challenges in the economy. There are challenges in the job market. Um, there's uncertainty. There's fear. Right now, our president is online talking about, I'm not following it, but he's probably talking about challenges, I'm guessing. Um, and... And, and, you know, and so many people are seeing these challenges as reasons as to why they cannot grow their new life business or as to why they shouldn't start their new life business journey. And you know what? I don't believe in one of these challenges. You know, I, and people feed me these challenges every day and I do not believe one of these challenges is correct because on the other hand, we're seeing distributors like yourself, like thousands of other distributors out there that are looking at these challenges and saying, hey, these challenges are creating a massive opportunity for us to reach out to people and share our superior quality nutrition, to reach out to people and show them how to start a home-based business opportunity that will help them overcome their uncertainty and fear, that will help them achieve their goals 
and their dreams. And we're seeing people that, another thing you, you mentioned, that have made the decision and have the attitude of they are ending, some, ending up somewhere on purpose. Mm -hmm. And so right now we are just in this fertile environment to grow this business. And I've just spent two days with our president's team and we've been looking at graphs. We've been looking at results. And over the last two years, we have just seen our business continue to grow, climb month after month after month. Um, and so the time right now is the perfect time to build this business. And I just want to share 